Hey Theory Scholars, it's Dr. Thomas here with another Pitch Class Set video. This one we're going to talk about how to find integral class vectors when you don't have a fork chart handy. All right, And so with this method we're going to use uh, subtraction to figure out what our integral class vector is um, from our prime form here. And again, just as a review, our integral class vector tells us the number and types of intervals that we have within a given Pitch Class Set. And so here our Pitch Class Set is 0, 2, 3, 7. It's in prime form. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the subtraction method. I'm going to take the first integer and subtract the rest from it. So I get 2, 3, 7. And I'm going to kind of put a bracket around this, parentheses really. Then I'm going to subtract the next integer in here, my 2, against the rest of the numbers, which is going to give me a 1 and a 5. I'm going to put parentheses around there. And then I'm going to take the 1 and have the 5 subtracted from that, and it gives me 4, all right? And then we're going to take a look at these numbers that are in parentheses here. If we have a number that's higher than 6, we want to, so right here, we want to subtract 12 from that. So uh, 12 minus 7 equals 5, because remember, our pitch class set, or interval classes, only go up to 6, all right? Because each interval class uh, constitutes, you know, it's interval and its inversion. So interval class one is a minor second and a major seventh. Interval class two is a major second and its inverse of a minor seventh. So seven equates to five, all right? So, you know, perfect fifth inverse to a perfect fourth. And then we just tally the numbers up. So we have one interval class one, one interval class two. I'm gonna cross these out so we don't get confused. One interval class three, one over class four, we have two interval class fives and no sixes. So interval class vector is one, 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 two, zero. You can check your fort chart, you're gonna find it there. This is a quick and easy way to do it when you don't have that fort chart handy. All right, I'll be back with more videos later. See you soon, bye.